Happy Monday, sixth graders. Your homework tonight is, I have completed the assigned study guide and studied for at least 20 minutes tonight. I have done my best to prepare for the exam tomorrow. I will contact my teacher if I need help or have questions. You will sign here and a parent will sign here. That's your homework. At this station, I'll be giving you the information for the study guide that you will be studying for 20 minutes each night to get prepared for ELA. So first, when it comes down to the terms to know, these are all the things you're gonna need to study and memorize by this week. First, copy down everything in red. Make sure you do it as quickly as you can because we gotta get through a lot at this station. Unpause once you have these all done. Now that you have these down, you should be make sure, making sure that you study them tonight for the ELA test tomorrow and Wednesday. It's two parts for two days. You will need all these words for both. So now go ahead to the difference between identify and analyze. These are two words we see a lot in ELA. It's really important that when we see these words, we know what they're asking us to do. If you're asked to identify something, it means just to find. If you're asked to analyze, it means to dive deeper. That's when we talk about the how or why. Jot those down on pause when you're done. So for example, if you had to identify the theme, it just means find the theme. So if I said to identify the theme in Hatchet, the theme in Hatchet is never give up. But if I asked you to analyze the theme in Hatchet, that's when you're gonna be talking about how you know this is the theme, what the text tells you, how the author shapes this theme. That's sort of that deeper dive into something. But identify just means tell me what it is and analyze is that dive deeper. So before, make sure that you know these two things and you annotate them whenever you see them in a question. A couple other little reminders about writing. Make sure that first, and so that these are for the essays you're gonna be writing over the next two days. There'll be one Tuesday and one Wednesday. Some of us still aren't indenting at the beginning of a paragraph. Always make sure that you indent. It makes your writing neat and organized. We know that evidence goes in quotation marks and tell me where you found it. That can mean a paragraph number or a page number. Jot down these two examples if you still struggle with this. You can say in paragraph three, it says, and then put the quote. You can say, the text says, then give me the quote, and then afterwards in parentheses, say paragraph three. There are two different ways to do this. Please study both tonight. Um, also, make sure that you're not only annotating a text, but you annotate the prompt. Sorry, I also move back here. You can annotate the prompt in whatever way works for you. If you see a word that you know what it means, then annotate for it. You can number it and kind of say what kinds of different things it's asking you to do. But annotating a prompt really helps you break down what it's asking for. As far as this box right here, I'm not gonna go over this right now. We've been doing it a lot, but I wanted to put in reminders. It would be a very good idea to go through this list and memorize it. Go ahead right now and highlight the two things on here that you struggle with remembering the most. Okay, so now that you've done that, those are the two things you should take an extra look at. Actually, make sure everyone that you highlight this one because we've noticed across all classes that this is the thing, or not this one, including the titles and the authors is the thing we struggle with the most. And also jot down next to that titles in quotation marks. So just to go back and review some of the things we talked about with identify and analyze, what is the, if I asked you to identify, it would be what is the theme in Hatchet? But hold on, if I was asked to analyze what details does the author use to convey this theme? Well, the word convey, I know that's a little bit tricky. Whenever you see the word convey, annotate this right now, means how is it shown or revealed? So what does the author do here to make us see that the theme in Hatchet is never give up? So sorry, one second guys, I'm being crazy about this. So what details does the author use to convey this theme? The author shows me the theme is never give up by showing Brian's struggles in the woods. The author uses Brian's inner dialogue to show us that he's trying to stay powerful. 
He also gives us flashbacks. There are certain times where he kind of goes back in his head, remember, when he sees his English teacher, Mr. Perpich. That shows us he's trying to remember to never give up. And then also the fact that Brian is saved at the end. These are all different ways or details that he revealed or conveyed the theme of never give up. So tomorrow, if you are asked to identify the theme or you're asked to show how it's conveyed, just think, okay, I know what the theme is. What did the author really do here to show me that? So now go ahead and do the second part independently. Choose an independent reading book that you've read this year and identify a theme and then analyze what details did the author use to convey this theme. Go ahead and jot those down on pause when you're done. Okay, so that was for a little bit of practice. If you felt like you were able to do this well, you will be just fine tomorrow. Make sure that you study this tonight for 20 minutes and bring in that signature or else you won't get credit for your homework.